welcome to aims india's online classes today from our science subject we are going to continue the topic transport and communication okay children like already we have discussed about transport now we have learnt about different modes of transport and how do we travel from one place to another place in the previous session and today children in this lesson in this session we are going to talk about communication okay so yesterday i have given you a brief introduction about communication now i am going to repeat it once again for you children please listen and what is communication like communication is what we send and receive messages from people okay so when we want to meet people who are staying very far away then how do we go we go through buses trains aeroplanes oh cars and we are going to meet them but if you want to talk to them and you are they are very far away from us then how do we talk to them so we are going to talk to them through some communication means that is to some types of communications so what is that means of communication we are going to learn today okay means of communication there are various means of communication and these are what telephone the first one okay so you have got so many types of means of communication children and from that the first one is telephone able to see the picture here everybody so it's a beautiful telephone which is red in color no so telephones are land phones used for communication so these are land phones children we cannot carry them we call them as land phones we cannot carry them we are going to fix these phones on a particular place suppose uh, at home we have will be having one land phone uh, when your parents are working so they will be having some land phones in their offices no so these phones are fixed at a particular place which you cannot carry wherever you go okay so that phones are can, called as land phones so these are also phones but they are land phones and telephones are land phones used for communication so we are going to use these phones to talk with the other persons okay to talk and to listen from the other persons whomever you would like to talk okay by telephone we can talk to the persons living far away from us that is what why do why are you using telephone we are using this telephone to talk with one of our friend or one of our relative who is staying far away from us no children so this is one what is the other one yes mobile phones no everybody know about this so because of this online classes these days every student is using the mobile phone no the mobile phone the smartphone okay so this mobile phones not only gives i mean gives us so much information about so many things but it is also used to communicate with the other persons okay and one big advantage of mobile phone is you can carry it along with you wherever you go you can carry this phone so in this modern days so these phones have got a big demand so every person has got a mobile phone especially elders no children uh, still we do not give you mobile phones it's only for study purpose or sometimes if you want to watch anything for entertainment you can use it but you will not be having your personal phone because still you are young no but elders elder people everyone will be having their own mobile phone why to carry the information to get the information okay and we cannot carry our land phones with us whenever we go out of our house mobile phones or cell phones on the other hand are the phones that we can carry with us whenever and wherever we go see that is the biggest advantage of this mobile phone 
no even while walking also you can just talk uh, with somebody carrying the phone no you can carry anywhere you can just keep the mobile phone in your pocket and you can carry it anywhere so this is also one of the means of communication children the other one letter letter see are you able to see the pictures of letters here yes so in the early days in the early days we were using letters so we were using more of letters to communicate with each other who are very far away from us okay so those days there were no uh, mobile phones land phones were there and before land phones letters were there and then land phones have come that is telephones and after land phones then now mobile phones are there but in the olden days so we used to carry or we used to give any message through this letters to our relatives and friends okay children so you have to write whatever you are you want to speak you are going to write it in a on a paper and just cover it in an envelope and then you can post it or else you can just you will be having some postal cards where you can just write it on the card if it is a very short message you can just write it on that card and you can send it you can post it okay children so now if you need to communicate with a person who has no land phone or a mobile phone what will you do see again in nowadays also if somebody somewhere very far away from you is not having a land phone or he is also not having a mobile phone but still you want to talk with him then what will you do what are you going to do the only the only solution is the letter okay so you have to write a letter and post it so that way you can talk to him so in this situation what we do we write letters we write letters letters are one of the oldest means of communication that is sending and receiving message okay so what we are going to do children we are going to write letters and as i said so these are the oldest means of communication so very beginning when people started communicating from uh, with each other so when kings were ruling no so in the very olden days so even they used to send letters through pigeons have you have you uh, know about that pigeons used to carry the letters no so from that time till now so letters have been one of the means of communication where we can send and receive messages okay so we write and post our letters in post offices and postman carries these letters to our desired addresses so what we do we are going to write and post our letters in this letter box see this is the post office children and in front of post office you are having a I mean post box no so then from this post box what happens postman is going to carry take out all the letters so we have to drop the letter in the post boxes and postman he is going to carry these letters letters to the desired addresses like on whichever address we have written on that letter cover so for that particular address the postman is going to deliver the letter okay children so like that what happens our friends or relatives are going to receive our message so this is also one of the means of communication children so what we learned in the means of communication one thing is mean one thing is the land phone another one was the mobile phone the other one was the letter and still we have one more means of communication what is that emails emails e is nothing but electronic mails mail again is nothing but a letter but here we are we are not writing it 
with our hand and we are not posting it in the post box and postman is not carrying it to to the address okay but here this letters this letters are sent through computers that is why we call them as emails that is electronic mails okay children electronic mail so every person will be having one email address that is we are going to address that uh, i mean uh, that email addresses at the rate now if you want to give any message to that particular address you can write any message and you can just send it to that particular email address that per that person's email address so that information will be passed this is nothing but email okay children and emails are the electronic mails which are sent with the help of internet through a computer so to send email children you must have internet facility okay so if you have internet facility then you can type you can type your words in the computer and send through this electronic mail and it is one of the fastest and cheapest mode of communication so this is the fastest fastest one of the fastest it it reaches within some minutes or sometimes within seconds no so that is why it is very fastest and cheapest mode of communication so these days people prefer more to send information especially uh, when uh, people are working you know working people like your father your mother or your elder brothers or sisters when they are working in their working environment so they use uh, this emails to send informations to the other persons okay children clear now so this is what we have learnt about communication now we are going to learn about the safety safety so what is safety safety is nothing but being safe we must also be safe we must also keep the other person also safe no it is not that if we are safe that is good is it good children no we must think about ourselves and also we must think about the others also no to the best we have to try to keep everyone safe clear so safety is what keeping ourselves safe and life is very precious to all of us but at times we may endanger our lives by accident so uh, we have learnt about transportation because we learnt about transportation we are talking here about the safety what is transportation travelling from one place to another place and when you are travelling what happens sometimes unfortunately you meet with some accidents okay accidents and that accidents are going to become a big danger for our life yes or no children suppose you are traveling on your bicycle or you are going along with your father on a scooty or any two wheeler or you are traveling with your family in a car if your car your vehicle your bicycle is going to hit by another vehicle what happens so you are going to get harmed even the other person also is going to get harmed get hurt no and this is going to be a danger for our body sometimes even for our life also so we have to protect from these dangers we have to get ourselves protected from these accidents because life is very precious to all of us yes or no so life is very precious everybody's life is very precious for themselves even for their family members clear and accident is an understandable phenomena 
and it may occur anywhere any time children so as our lives are very precious very valuable to all of us so nobody of us wish to face or to have an accident no so accident is an undesirable phenomena so nobody wish it is not desirable desirable is not, we do not wish for it okay to happen and it may occur anywhere any time so if we are not pre, mean cautious if we are not cautious so so we may face accidents anywhere any time okay children sometimes two vehicles may collide with each other someone get burn some may be bitten by dogs cats insects etc so these accidents occur by chance some accidents which we do not expect you now while we are going to travel on the road sometimes what happens two vehicles may collide so they are going to cross each other in the sense they are going to collide they are going to attack each other which is going to cause a very big accident here there may be damage for the vehicles and also there may be a damage for the persons who are traveling in that particular vehicle okay and sometimes what happened sometimes the vehicles get burn no you might have seen uh, like i will show you here in the picture children see here so here the vehicle has got burn because of uh, maybe some excessive heat or uh, because of some uh, uh, petrol or diesel leakage or because of some gas leakage no so some for many reasons it may get burn so that also is an unexpected accident again which is going to harm our lives and also our vehicle no and sometimes what happens dogs or some animals are going to cross no so you might have observed this very frequently when you are traveling so when you when you are traveling in a two wheeler or a four wheeler on a road so suddenly you see a dog or a cat or any animal which tries to cross the road no then what you have to do you have to just go with a sudden break no you have to force uh, the vehicle to stop by putting the sudden break no if you do not go with the break then we are going to hit the animal or even our vehicle or for ourselves also it may become a danger that uh, it, may, it may damage even our vehicle and also ourselves so that way also it is going to cause a problem okay children see here in the picture and here also i said that two vehicles are going to collide they are going to attack each other no see here so this is also one problem like how do accidents happen okay so but many times what happens many times uh, accidents occur because of our negligence so sometimes like as we said uh, which are going to collide or uh, which is going to get burn which is going to bitten by dog or cats or insects so these are all by chance so we are not going to do it like wantedly no so it is an unexpected situation but many times what happens accidents occur because of our negligence so when we are driving children when we are driving when we are on road even when you are walking also you have to walk to this on the footpath no on the footpath to the side of the road you cannot walk in the center of the road no if you wantedly walk on the center of the road where vehicles are going to pass frequently then definitely one or other vehicle is going to hit you no that becomes your negligence if you do something wantedly no so like this because of your negligence so many times accidents occur and such accidents can be prevented by following certain safety rules outside and inside our houses so this type of accidents these type of accidents which are caused because of our negligence that can be avoided how if you follow some safety rules children 
no then uh, you will be able to protect yourself and you also will be able to protect others also now you have to follow the safety rules even inside and outside the house accident is not that only the accidents which cause uh, through the transportations no in the sense through the means of transportation like not only road accidents sometimes in our houses also in our homes also the uh, short uh, circuit because of electricity or something uh, burning all such accidents will up occur no so if we take care about such things no you will not face these accidents clear children now so this is the picture what i have showed you already this this one are the traffic signals traffic lights so you might have observed these lights very frequently when you are traveling on roads children so this red red light indicates to stop okay and uh, green light indicates to go like you can start your vehicle and go yellow light indicates to slow your vehicle to slow your vehicle so according to that uh, traffic on the road so these lights will be given i mean these lights are going to light so that you can stop your vehicle you can start your vehicle or you have to slow down your vehicle these are the traffic lights children so you will be having these lights near the traffic uh, signals okay children clear now so you have some more traffic signals here like uh, see suppose if you have this signal so in the sense uh, you should not turn left no left turn no. you might have seen these signals uh, especially in the beginning of the street or uh, in between the road somewhere you no know, they'll be having some boards and they are going to display such type of traffic signals so you have to understand that if you have this particular signal this uh, mean uh, picture so you should not turn left there okay and this one you should not turn right okay and uh, this one you should not turn uh, take a u turn you should not take a u turn and here you should not travel on the bicycles no no cycles that is you should not go on the bicycles now here see if you have this uh, picture children that is this way is meant for zebra crossing where all the pedestrians are going to cross the road that is zebra crossing and if you have this picture it means you should not park your vehicles no parking and if you have this picture children then you should not stop there you should not stop in the sense you should not stop your vehicle there so no stopping okay then uh, here no entry you are not allowed to enter in that particular road or route so there is no entry and here children no horn you should not horn you should not horn your vehicles okay and this here there is a railway crossing so there may be a railway track where you have a railway crossing so if you have this uh, vehicle in you have to understand that you have to slow down the speed of your vehicle because you will be having a railway crossing in front clear children so these are some pictures of uh, traffic signals where you have to compulsory follow these signals these rules so that accidents will not be going to happen clear children now so after this we are going to discuss about some safety measures at school okay children i hope you have understood all these so when you go out especially when you go uh, out on the roads please observe all these traffic signals and try to follow all these rules so that you will be safe and you also keep others safe okay children so we will be continuing in the next class so until then take care and stay well goodbye children
please visit our website www.aimstoday.in for other information regarding online classes, quizzes, live worksheets, DIY activities, English classes and coding. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.